For decades, Mali sewer and drainage systems have provided plumbers and installers with a way to protect water quality and ensure effective sanitation in homes and buildings across sub-Saharan Africa. Durability, ease and safety of installation, as well as environmental soundness and cost effectiveness are what make Mali's certified range of UPVC systems the preferred choice and offer a viable alternative to traditional materials. The Mali Solid Wall UPVC pipe system is designed with chamfered pipe ends for simplified installation and reliable jointing in non-pressure applications. Supplied in heavy duty class 34 and normal duty class 51, these extruded pipes are provided plain ended or with an integral socket on one end. To make up the full system, solid wall pipes supported by a full complement of Mali UPVC underground fittings include sockets, bends, junctions, stop ends, traps, grates, adapters, and special fittings. Dig your trenches to national building regulations and applicable bylaws. The width of the trench should be as narrow as possible, but at least 300 millimeters greater than the outside diameter of the pipe. Trenches deeper than 900 millimeters must be stepped and suitably shuttered to prevent injury from collapsing sidewalls. The design of any UPVC pipeline must take into account the interaction between the pipe and bedding. This will enable the pipes to withstand imposed loads without excessive deflection, while maintaining the ability to cope with possible ground movement without fracturing. Use selected granular material as the initial backfill, compacted to a depth of 100 mm. Be sure to cover the full width of the trench. It is good practice to backfill as pipe laying progresses, leaving 300 mm exposed on either side of joints for testing. At shallow cover depths, where pipes may be subject to heavy traffic loadings, protection is best achieved using concrete slabs on a bed of hand compacted granular fill. Measure the length of pipe and cut it square using a fine tooth saw and a fabricated mitre box. Make sure all pipe cut ends are chamfered and the resulting swarf removed. Before joining fittings, plan out where all pipes and fittings will go. The lip seal jointing system allows high integrity joints to be made quickly and easily. First, determine the insertion depth and mark it with a permanent marker. Ensure that the rubber seal ring is correctly positioned in the socket recess of the fitting or the pipe socket. Apply a small amount of Mali lubricant to the chamfered spigot end and to the rubber seal ring to ease fitting. Line the pipe or the spigot end up with the socket and push firmly until the insertion depth mark is level with the face of the socket. Repeat this procedure for all remaining fittings in the system. Traps, gullies and other available fittings can be added to the system. Coat the outside of the pipe end up to the insertion depth as well as the inside of the fittings with solvent weld and join together immediately by pushing the pipe firmly into the fitting up to the insertion depth. Remove any surplus solvent weld immediately with a clean dry cloth. For soil and vent applications, molded and fabricated UPVC pipe fittings are available in 75, 110 and 160 mm sizes, including transition to 40 and 50 mm waist dimensions. For non-pressure applications, the Mali B-Ring system offers maximum joint integrity by controlling expansion and contraction within the pipework. 
cut the pipe as previously mentioned, chamfering the ends and removing all swarf and dirt. Like with the underground fittings, measure and mark the insertion depth. Ensure that the B-ring seal is correctly positioned in the socket recess of the fitting. Apply a small amount of Mali lubricant to the chamfered pipe end and the seal. And push the pipe or spigot end firmly through the B-ring seal, adjusting until the insertion depth has been reached. Fit the pipe clips at a maximum of 2 meters apart on vertical pipe and a maximum of 1 meter on horizontal pipe. For waste systems joining into soil pipes, pipe clips should be fitted at a maximum of 1.25 meter spans on vertical pipes and a maximum of 0.75 meter spans on horizontal pipes. In buildings that are 30 meters or more in height, Pipe movement under temperature changes should be controlled at each floor. This can be done by securing at least one socket with a pipe clip at each floor. In most cases, the socket of a pipe length may be located in a solid floor. In this case, wrap the socket and joint with a layer of building paper and backfill with concrete. This point will now act as an anchor in controlling thermal movement. Guide sleeves should be installed between floors at a maximum of 2 meters apart to support and allow clearance between the pipework and the building. Place the saddle over the pipe so that the flow direction markings on the fitting correspond to the actual direction of flow on the main line. Align the saddle into the correct position and mark the saddle flange outline and the required hole in the main line. Remove the saddle and drill the hole in the main line as marked using a 50mm hole saw. Refit the saddle and align properly, making sure that the flange lip fits inside the drilled hole. Ream is required using a half round or a round file taking care to leave enough material on the main pipeline to secure a solvent well joint against the flanged area of the saddle. Apply a uniform coat of Mali solvent cement to the saddle flange and to the area on the main pipeline surrounding the drilled hole as marked. Secure the saddle strap in the original position as marked using the supplied M5 screw. Follow the Mali B-ring socket joint procedure for connecting the waste branch, using Mali lubricant and pushing the fittings firmly onto the pipe. Mali, your value partner. Visit our website to locate a stockist near you at www.malipipesystems.co.za or you can contact us on 11